All right, all right. What's up, y'all? So, um, I gotta clean something up. So I scored another little part to the puzzle here locally uh, the other day. I got me a new vacuum cleaner. Check it out. Hopefully uh, it picked it up. Um, it's the track heat, track flow intake. Um, a guy here local had it in, uh, well, I say local, it was about an hour and a half away. Um, he, um, he brought it to me, to my house, to my doorstep actually, and I just covered his gas because uh, the only day I was able to get it, I had my son Jackson and um, I don't really like, I don't really care to take him on road trips, like, you know, anything more than like a 30 minute drive, he starts getting antsy and wanting to get out and stuff, so I didn't want to hear that all the way there and all the way back, so, um, so yeah, I'm going to clean this thing up and then, um, let me see if I can show y'all, let me turn this light on, um, I still got the GT40 on there, uh, there's my axles down there, I got the, the studs pressed in them, um, I just did the old school trick to press them in. I got a long, a, uh, big bolt, and then I took that washer and put it on this side, and I took, uh, an old lug nut, and then I just ran it down and pulled it through. I put a little grease on them, too, before I did it, and it, it pulled them right through, so. Yeah, so, um, I got my camera flipped around. Hopefully, it's picking up the light. The light's picking up good enough. So y'all can see. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna get this thing cleaned up, and uh, uh, I'm gonna paint it. Um, probably just go back to silver. I'll see how it cleans up. It might not even need to be, need to be painted, but we'll see. So <clears throat> I went to go hook up my my throttle, my nitrous throttle switch um, the other day. I went to go move some wires around. And I noticed on my actual solenoid, let's see if I can get it to pick it up. See that? That wire, that's the hot, the trigger hot, the ground's going to the to the body. Um, there's like one thread hanging on, so I'm going to have to look to see if I can uh, get a better grab onto that, maybe take this apart. I, I don't know, I've never taken one apart. Um, if not, I'm going to have to get another solenoid. So, it's always something. Also, I scored uh, a good bit of magazines, old hot rod and car craft magazines um, from a buddy of mine. Um, uh, he has a YouTube channel, uh, Pablo453. I'll put a, uh, I'll put it up on the screen. Um, like these are from February of '91. I've got like four or five boxes of these things. They're in great shape too. I've been really enjoying reading them. Um, all Chevy, Car Craft, Hot and New for '95. Um, oh, I'm dropping them everywhere. Anyways, I got a lot of good stuff in these uh, boxes of magazines. I've been really enjoying some of my reads. So, yeah. I'll, um, I'll have to, I actually found a couple of articles I want to share with y'all. I'll uh, see if I can pull them back up. And um, it's just some, you know, it's about small block Ford stuff. But one article is a guy, he um, he had a 302 that he put, I want to say it was 13 to 1 Joe Pistons in them, JE Pistons or whatever. And um, he ended up running uh, 1090 and a quarter. I'll put I'll show the article if I can find it again. It's in one of those magazines, but yeah, I figured I'd share that with y'all too. I really enjoy reading, especially on the weekends when I have Jackson. Um or whenever I watch Jackson on the weekends, whenever my wife works. Um I enjoy reading and he watches his little Spider Man or he's actually been in the watching um dirt bike racing lately and and um car actually you know drag racing and stuff so maybe he'll catch the bug at an early age and uh enjoy the hobby as we do too so 
Well, uh, I got that intake uh, cleaned up pretty good. Um, some of the paint on it was just flaking and stuff. I'm going to have to, uh, I think I'm going to have to um, take a little bit of light sandpaper and scrub it. You know, maybe some scotch Bright, and then I'm going to paint it silver so it looks good when I put it on. And then I can move my injectors and everything over to it and then put it on. So, trying to make progress. So... All right, all right. <clears throat> so, time to start getting this other intake off. I got that intake cleaned up. Here's my new vacuum cleaner. Now check it out. <laughs> it looks just like a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> um. So, uh, that's the upper. I got it cleaned up pretty good. It doesn't even need paint. It cleaned up pretty damn clean. Um, even on the inside, cleaned up pretty good i just need to clean the surface a little bit more here um the lower i got cleaned up the lower i got cleaned up pretty good um i'm gonna slap some paint on it and then um let it dry for a day or so and then um take my time and get this taken apart and then set the new gaskets in place and all that um i'm gonna have to get some different hose to reroute to lengthen a couple of them but I'll figure that out when the time comes uh, so yeah all right I got the lower intake on got the harness hooked back up um, not sure what I'm gonna do about the salt and sh salt and pepper shaker yet Guess I could just tuck it up underneath the upper intake whenever I get it on to get it out the way. I don't like that that thing will just be dangling around, but um yeah. I'll check out the port alignment. Hang on, let me turn this light off. Mm. There we go. Pretty damn dead on. Uh, can't really see it. Anyways, it's pretty damn close. Um, I think if I ever take this intake off again, I think what I'm going to do is... Um, I'll probably go with... Um, sorry, phone's all messing up um I'll, if i ever have to take this lower intake off again i'll probably go to a little thicker intake gaskets these are the 1262s and they are um 60 thousandths thick if i remember right um so i'll probably go with like the 80s next time they bring it up just a little bit more uh but we'll see hopefully i don't ever have to take it off but that little bit of misalignment there i'm not too worried about it um it lines up pretty good uh so now maybe i'll be able to actually make some decent power with these heads now being that the gt40 intake was choking the heads out so we shall see all right got the upper intake on just set on got the gasket in place i got my brake booster uh vacuum line um Hoping I got everything where it would work out the way it needs to. Um, man, this thing's a pain in the ass to get on with that damn AC line right here. I don't like that. I might have to just gently bend that and then tuck it under on the back side. Um, or I could always run the spacer. I do have a spacer. It's like a half inch spacer. They call them uh, phenolic spacers or whatever they call it. I should, it'd probably be better if I ran that anyway. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm going to see how it works out like this. Worst case is I'll just um, try to bring it up. And uh, I just don't like that damn thing rubbing. That aggravates the hell out of me. Uh... I'm not even so sure that that half inch spacer would 
do anything for it. I could see a mark where it was rubbing before, unless I just did that. I don't remember. But, damn, I hate that. Well, we'll just have to make the best of it for now, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. We'll see. All right, we got her all together. Time for the first drive. Now, <clears throat> um, you'll probably see my fuel pressure regulator is plugged off the vacuum on. My gauge quit working. Um, it, something all kind of went weird there for a minute. Like, I had it cranked up for the first semester of time, and then it just, like, cut off. I spun it over, spun it over. It never would crank. So, I popped the fuel pump out the back because my gauge wasn't reading. So, I thought that was a problem. And I put my old pump back in. Put the old pump back in. It cranked up. Um, but my gauge still ain't working. So, I don't know what happened there. Um, it's a liquid filled gauge. Uh, so I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, I do have to keep my eye on the air fuels until I figure out what's going on with that. Um, it was just super weird. I don't, don't know what happened. Um, I popped the old pump out, like I said, or it's the new pump, the 255 pump. I pulled it out and the, the fuel line that goes up the feed line, it wasn't split or nothing. So I don't know what caused it. Maybe it just, it's a, it's a wall barrel, so it's a good pump. So I'm not sure what happened, but I put the stock 88 or whatever liter per hour pump back in it and it's fine now. Um, but um, yeah, I don't know. I got to figure out what's going on there. So I'm going to take it out for the first little drive and see how it goes. Uh, also, you'll probably see these bolts here. They don't belong there. These are from the GT40. Uh, the guy I got this intake from did not give me the two bolts that go there. So those worked. I just got to order some and go from there. So let's see how it drives. All right. First drive with the trip flow intake. Air fuels seem to be okay. Still getting the idle dialed in a little bit. Uh, Temperature seems to be holding okay. Um, seems to be driving fine. So, what do you think, Jackson? What do you think? He got mad at me a minute ago because I had the window down and I punched it a little bit and he didn't like all the air in his face, so he's mad now. Don't give me them eyes, boy. <laughs> 